Hey, welcome back to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> We're back today with my 1956 Beetle, also known as Eleanor. If you haven't been watching this channel, you'll know that I've been welding and filling just pretty much all of the holes on this body that I can. And I think I've finally hit a moment of achievement where I can't find anything else to, uh, to neither grind nor weld. I, I think I've just about got it. If, if I've missed a spot, well, that means I'm just paying Earl for it. <laughs> it's not going to be free from here on out. But the trick of the day is I have to figure out how to get that beetle body onto that trailer over there. Because, that's right, Big Blue is going to be pulling Eleanor to where she needs to go. Now a lot of you might be saying, well, you know, there's no way possible you could fit such a big body on such a small trailer. Well, actually, defenders are just enormous. You know, there's more air space underneath them than anything. So they're coming off. Uh, as well as the headlights, you know, they don't need to be on there. Just take it off, no problem. At that point, the body is just a little over four feet wide. I mean, it's, it's not that wide. So what I did is I built a dolly which Earl is going to be using in his shop. And it is the approximate width of Eleanor's heater channels. And the heater channel should rest up on top of this without any problems. I don't foresee there being any issues on here. It's also got the special uh, pneumatic wheels, which he wanted because then he can roll it around in the grass because he tends to play a, a shuffle between the bays, depending upon what type of work it's going to uh, be uh, receiving. So in the back here, if you look way in the back, the trailer's four feet wide. You notice that dolly is just a little bit wider than four feet. Now, the heater channels aren't going to come all the way to the rear. It's actually going to pass beyond that to up underneath the fender somewhere. I just continue to flare it out. But yeah, the heater channels do taper inwards towards the front. So the body should fit on this. I don't see it as being a problem. If it does become a problem, I can loosen up some of the screws and shift some of the stuff around. Uh, I don't see this being too big of an issue. The, the biggest problem I have is actually getting it lifted and moved. Now, you've seen me lift the body before with a body dolly, and uh, I'm sorry, you've seen me lift the body before with a cherry picker, and I could probably do that and then wheel the trailer underneath it, but I think I might just take the easy way out. Tyrone is home, and I'm going to see if he can give me a favor and uh, lift this body up and over. Put a set of work gloves on him and I, and uh, we'll lift this thing up. I mean, I can lift the body myself. Really, they're not that heavy. Uh, Earl is convinced it's only like 250, 300 pounds. I, I think it's probably a little more than that. But, um, yeah, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. The biggest thing is going to be getting it centered. Once we've got it centered on there, I should be able to wrap straps around the heater channels to the uh, beams that are on here and get that body firmly attached to this uh, dolly without a, too big of an issue, uh, unless we miss. That's the only problem I have is if we carry it over here and for some reason we miss. <laughs> It might be a problem, but with the fenders off, I think it'd be a whole lot easier to see what we're doing. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, well, I guess we're going to start ripping some fenders off and see what happens.
good there. I don't know if you can reach around this. It'd be better to get the sides there. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. Alright, cool. And up front I actually have handles, so I cheated. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. Go. I guess it does fit on a 4x8 trailer. <laughs> Once again, naysayers telling me it's not possible. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna fit. Yeah, well, you're looking at it. Boom. I have no idea why the camera was zoomed in like it was. I hope I didn't ruin too much of the footage, but uh, yeah, it's on there. The way I designed the dolly. It'll push backwards a little bit, but uh, yeah, we nailed it. <laughs> I did say I would probably wind up leaving at a moment's notice and uh, that moment just came in this morning at 5 a.m. That's right this company doesn't know how to send out emails or how to give you a warning as to you know when you can take a vacation. So yeah that's what happened. No more than an hour ago. As soon as I got the email and I saw what it was I immediately jumped out of bed and threw everything in there. So I mean I'm so glad that I got this thing loaded up. <laughs> it's just uh yeah just yeah okay well we're gonna get out of here. We got everything tied down inside I've got the fenders all bundled up I've got them wrapped in tape and blankets keeping them secure I'm trying to keep them out of the uh, the airstream but uh, yep there it is so anyways like comment subscribe plug the dingle belly and I hope that this closes up this video of loading up this car I planned on doing a little bit more but uh, I never got around to it so we're making that trip so I guess this is kind of the beginning of the trip video but uh, watch for that. It'll probably come out tomorrow. Anyways, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Check out dugshit.net forward slash CCC. That way you can see Earl's progress on Eleanor. And, uh, well, let's get out of here. Thanks for watching.